Hey, what's up, people? I'm at the Harvard Freight, and I'm trying to get my hitch to swivel because I'm gonna carry something behind my car, and I don't want to spend like 300 bucks on a swivel. So I was trying to figure something out. Maybe if I can get like this is ten dollars right here. You see, right here, this is ten dollars. Maybe I can get this one and the same one this one you bolt them together you see this you take these parts out you then you put a pin together in here you see that and then maybe drill a hole so it can be one solid piece that's my, my first idea and then i can shove this in my car this side because you can always re drill the holes and the other part i can buy this extension you know put it right here and then you can attach your uh, hitch to it. Uh, this is what I have on my car right now. I raised it up so it can be a little higher. So I was thinking if I can, it would look like this, check this out. You know, you put this inside, like inside, and you take two of these. I'm just trying to gym the stuff. You see this? You put this in here. You put this in there and then you you know use one of these screws to hold it and this goes in the car and whatever you want goes in, on here and then i realized let's put this back so this 11 bucks right here <clears throat> 11 that equals to 22 dollars right 22 dollars plus you add this thing, this extension, that's another $14. So that's over $30. Or what you can do is you just buy this right here. I think it's, I think it's like 20 something dollars. You buy this thing, you shove this in your car, right? And then your trailer hitch is this. fits right there perfectly you don't have to do anything just fit it right there you drill a hole actually two holes so you can you drill a hole you put a big old screw in here you can you can swivel right but if you want to stop it you drill another hole and you put a pin in here and then once you put a pin in there it stops it right and then once you don't want it if, if you want to you know, swivel it and, you know, open your door in the trunk, you pull the pin out and it swivels. You see that? And it fits perfect. You just like, what I was worried about with this, you see the metal, how thin this is? And it's welded only on like one side. That's what I was worried about for it to crack. You know, yes, my weight is 750 pounds, but with time, look at this thing right here. Look how, how much welding this thing is done all around it so this i'm gonna get this and it's nice protection if someone wants to rear in me and bump into this thing it's like what's up i'm gonna try doing this tonight if you like my videos share and subscribe to my channel and i'm going on a road trip cross country and i'm trying to do my rig my diver stuff you know what i mean save some say yeah save me some of that me money oh. But you know what? I'm just gonna let's see this thing. No, just fit falls through. You see that? It's gonna fall through. It's a nice attachment too. But anyways, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. So hybrid for uh, hybrid trade. You come here and you just storm your brains. You know, you might come up with something. If your noggin is working, you, you might come up with something, you know what I mean? They got everything. It's not the best stuff, but they got everything. They even got someone else's water in there. Oh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Now I need to find like a thick screw that I can, thick bolt that I can shove in here long enough. And this works great. If you have like a, a baggage in the back, you know, like a, like a big old metal crate you raise it up six inches or seven or eight so 
you get it off the ground because you don't want that on the ground. I have one of these works magic. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh.